Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. It's the end of season three. We are at Champions League final. We've done the hair. We've got the shirt on. We've got our sleeves rolled up. Let's get into it. Oh my God. Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the procedure, everybody stay calm. Welcome back, boys and girls. It is a Chelsea rebuild. It is the Champions League final day. Whatever happens here, I've decided this will be our last game in charge of Chelsea. If we take a look at the job centre, there are currently... Inter Milan, Marseille, and oh well, wow. well, Man City must have named a new man. No, Man City there. Man City are also available. I'm not sure that any of them are the ones potentially for us, but I'm hoping. I mean, Inter Milan. They've got. I mean, they finished second. So it doesn't really feel like a rebuild. Although a few key players in or around the 30 years old mark. They've still got Latoro Martinez, which is key. Got Fabian Ruiz coming in, who I like. They've got our old boy Kovacic. Dumfries at right back. Onana in goal. And have Rapanos, Nacho. I mean, they've not bought well, really. But I feel like we could go there, have a bit of a clear out, and maybe turn them into Champions League contenders. I mean, Man City, we saw in the last episode, we know what they've got. They've still got Erling Haaland. They've got Kimmich. They've got, I mean, other than the Chelsea the Chelsea side we've built, I think this is probably the strongest squad in the Premier League. But they did finish fifth, so maybe maybe there is work to be done there. Her to Berlin. I mean, that's not a bad shot, to be fair. I do not recognise, I mean, Caprile, I know. Ampadu, we know, he was one of our old boys. Piantec was a bad man a few seasons ago. But other than that, they've not really got... I mean, this guy must be good, he's worth 35 mil. I mean, they do look like they, they're in a bit of need of some potsy loving. But we'll see, maybe... I think what would I might apply for a few of them, and then we'll see what manager moves go round. Maybe some more doors open. But the door we want to open first, boys and girls, is the door to our ch trophy cabinet. And we want to put the Champions League trophy inside. And this is the team that we're hoping is going to do it. Neuer in goal. Chilwell, Konate, Big Wes Fofana, Rhys James, Chiuameni, Gavi, Musiala, the Metzala. Kavrich, Kalia, Havertz and Vlahovic. I feel like this is the same side we've played for the last three or four games on on camera. It's our strongest team. It's our biggest game yet. Here we go. Expecting a win. They've got... Who have they got? They've still got Ossiman, Kukurella. Trent Batic at centre back, huge. And they've got, I mean, they've got Joe Gomez on the bench. They've got, still got Gakpo, Thiago. It's a decent side. Don't get me wrong. Is it strong enough to beat our Chelsea side? I don't think it is. I think we beat them a couple times in the league this season. I feel like we should have enough to do a job on them here as we get the first highlight is a corner it's in Vlahovic is at the back post it's 1-0 that's huge that's the earliest goal we wanted sends the Chelsea fans into raptures Reese James with a corner he stoops low I mean he shouldn't be getting a free header there but I'm not going to complain big deuce that is why we splashed out that money one season ago to bring him in over the summer. We went mad. We ditched the strikerless formation. And we brought in probably one of the top two strikers in the world. Kai Havertz gives the ball away. Wins it back though. Konate against his old club. Musiala. Kavrich Kalia now. Ben Chilwell. Kavrich Kalia is in here. Can he find something? He finds something special. I was going to say can he find someone. But he found the top bin. Boys and girls, we are 2-0 up in the Champions League final. It's the shirt. 
the shirt demands respect. We've got our sleeves rolled up. The players have rolled up their sleeves. And what a goal that is, by the way. On his weaker left foot. And he smashed it straight into the top corner. Allison's got no chance. Liverpool are shell-shocked. They do not know what's hit them. They're trying to get back with Tony Cruz with the corner. He swings it in. He's looking for Van Dijk. Vlahovic is there to get it away. Mo Salah drives into the box. But Neuer, in his final game of football ever, claws it away. And Cucurella. Can I say that? The two, team, two players that have swapped clubs in, in fairness. And now we're looking for Vlahovic again. But Batisic does well at the back. Luis Diaz, Cucurella coming forward again. We didn't see this from him in a Chelsea shirt. He looks for the cross and Oshiman's there. And Cucurella has got an assist and Liverpool have got one back. And maybe now the nerves will start to creep back in. Cucurella, I mean, Kai Havertz lets him run, doesn't even put a challenge in. And then Oshiman's still got a lot to do, almost off the back of his head, above Konate. So big kind of stories there. Players playing against their old club. In terms of the stats, it's fairly even. We've had one more shot than them. Slightly more XG. I mean, they haven't officially had a clear-cut chance. <sighs> Half-time. It feels like that's flown by. Keep working hard, boys. We've still got the one-goal advantage. Although perhaps the momentum is with Liverpool. Tony Cruz looking for... Van Dijk and he finds him. The flag stayed down. They're consulting. I think this is going to stand. It does stand and they've clawed themselves back and that is a disappointing way to start this second half. Tony Cruz with far too much space. Allowed to pick Van Dijk at the back post. He's not going to miss from there. Like I said, the only thing save, would have saved us there would have been the offside flag. I tell you what, I mean, look at that foot. Oh, that's controversial. That is controversial. We're going to demand more. I can't believe we've thrown away a two-goal lead in the Champions League final. Liverpool. It's like Istanbul all over again. Musiala in his old stadium in Munich. Ben Chilwell. Gavi. Chuameni. Oh, is it someone? Kai Havertz has gone down. Pen ref. That's got to be a pen. Don't know who it was that gave that away, but you'd be fuming. If you presume Jürgen Klopp's still at Liverpool. Penalty awarded. And up steps Kavaric Kalia, I believe, is our penalty taker. Yes, here he is. The biggest penalty he'll ever take in his life. And he slots it in the bottom corner underneath the diving effort from Alisson. And we are back in front. 3-2 to Chelsea. Look at this for a penalty. I mean, the keeper nearly gets there, to be honest. In front of the Liverpool fans. But... Kavrich Kalia goes mental. And he's looking for a hat-trick here. He's got some space down the left-hand side. He looks inside, but Fabinho rolls back the years to cut it out. But Chuameni does what Chuameni does. And Kavrich Kalia is in for the hat-trick. And he's done it. Hat-trick for Kavrich Kalia. I think it was the last episode or the one before where I said he probably hasn't had the impact that we would have hoped. And boy, is he out to prove me wrong. Chuameni there. Getting the ball, Kai Havertz sliding through, Kavaric Kalia, the wrong side of Trent Alexander Arnold. You can only imagine what the media would be saying about Trent and his defending. But in real in reality, I think you've got to give credit to Chuameni for the tackle, credit Kai Havertz for the pass, and then credit Chu um, no, not Chuameni, Kavaric Kalia for the finish. And a few changes to be made now. Kai Havertz tell you what son you go and have a breather you have earned it you can walk off the pitch and get your stand innovation from some of the German fans that will be in attendance although Liverpool looking to get back into it Kai Havertz can he do one more thing before he leaves us the last thing that Kai Havertz is going to do for us in this save and he's given the ball away but we've won it back to a many now looking for Musiala Batisic Somehow gets it away. Kavrich Kalia. Musiala again. Musiala strikes from a distance and it is over the bar. 15 minutes to go in this final. The nail biting is real. We've got 12 minutes. Let's get Chuameni off because he's tired. He's done a great job in that role. 
uh, just the on play maker. So Ramiran can come on, and then Mudrick can come on for Kavrich Kalia. Come on, mate, take a bow, take the applause. Hat trick in a Champions League final. That is how it's done. What a second half this has been from us. We've got five minutes to go. Have Liverpool got any more fight in them? It looks like it's us on the attack, but Victor Ossiman looks for Mo Salah. It's a race. Ben Chilwell gets there ahead of his man. Manuel Neuer said it before. Sign off his last ever game in professional football. And the last thing we might see him do might be picking the ball out of the back of his net here. But Fofana gets the interception to preserve that Musiala now. And Thiago battling former teammates. Fabinho now looking over the top. Ossiman's in. Ossiman strikes and Neuer's probably not covered himself in glory there. Didn't look... I mean, take your time, Victor. He's gone all the way and he's just left the ball behind. But I think from this angle we're going to see that Manuel Neuer probably should have done better here. His positioning's all wrong. He doesn't even raise a hand to get it. That's disappointing. If this goes to four all an extra time, one, I might combust, and two, we might look at that moment as a big one. Cody Gakpo finds Mo Salah. Mo Salah looking for Jordan Henderson. Vermeeren gets the ball away. It's Mo Salah, though, on his left. Ossiman this time, and oh my good God, it's four all. It's four all. We've taken off a lot of our big guns, and we've got no time left to do anything about it. What a disappointing. I mean, how many times are Liverpool going to come back in a Champions League final? Ask Victor Ossiman with two. Is that two or three now? Did he score the first? He did. So he's got a hat trick in the Champions League final. Either Kavrich Kalia or Victor Ossiman. I mean, Napoli fans must be cursing themselves because that they both start off there one of them is going to score a hat-trick in a Champions League final and end up on the losing side who is it going to be boys and girls I hope it is Ossiman and I hope it is not us but yeah let's face it the momentum is with Liverpool now like I said we've made some changes some of our big names are no longer on the pitch players that we'd probably be looking to at times like this for a goal Cody Gakpo Musiala gets there, but oh, Ossiman's in again. Oh, ben Chilwell, right place, right time, but they come again. Mo Salah, Joe Gomez, no. Ossiman's got a fourth. Oh, my God. don't believe what I'm seeing. I do not believe what I am seeing. Zielinski with a free kick now. Kanate gets up. Oh, Kanate has broken... What a game of football this is. Ibrahima Konate. I said Kukurella got an assist against his old club. But Ibrahima Konate might just have saved our blushes. What a header that is. I mean, come off the man. Come off the Konate. This is unbelievable. I've never seen a final like it. I have never seen a game of football like this, boys and girls. Andy Robertson. Bacetic. Oh, Ossiman was nearly there at the back post for a tap-in for what would be an incredible fifth goal in a Champions League final. Andy Robertson now. We get the ball away again, but it's the second phase. Reese James in there to nick it. Do not lose it, please, Reese. He's lost it. Ben Chilwell gets it back. Scrappy as hell, but we lump it forward and it's half-time in extra time. Oh, man. Good God, I do not know which way this game is going to turn. There's some absolutely shattered legs out there. We've got, what, seven minutes to go. Ben Chilwell can take a breather off of Rafael Guerrero. Musiala's knackered, but... Rhys James also knackered. I mean, what do we do here? What do we do here? Oh, no, don't want to do that. Don't want to do that. Uh... Yeah, we'll give it some of that. Vlahovic running back to get the tackle there. So focused on the sub, I didn't really pay attention to what was going on. Mudrick could be in. Mikhail Mudrick is deflected up. and Alisson catches it comfortably. <sighs> Not penalties. Not penalties. Right. It's going to go to penalties, isn't it? It is absolutely 
go into penalties. Can we bring Callum Awendu on? We can. I mean, it's either going to make or break us, right? <laughs> oh my God, I don't believe this at all. Callum Awendu's coming on. He's going to be the fifth penalty taker. He's looking anxious. Let's not pay too much attention to that. The no regrets one is the one I always go for. Boys and girls, we're here again. The third penalty shootout of this season's Champions League. Surely we can't win another one. Mason Mount sends the keeper the wrong way. Well done, Mason. And it's Mo Salah. Staying with the theme of coming back to haunt your old club. He runs up. I mean, what a penalty that is. He's not even gone to the ball. He just left it where it was spotted. Big deuce now, Vlahovic. And he bangs it in. He doesn't miss many, I tell you. Ossiman. Four goals he scored in this final. And he's absolutely mullered that penalty into the top corner. Rafael Guerrero. Our January signing. We brought him in. And he has done... Us proud there. Thiago. Another player playing in his old stadium in Munich. And the keeper's gone the right way, but he cannot keep it out. Six out of six penalties gone in so far. Again, it's Musiala, another ex Bayern Munich player. And he has put it in the top corner. What a penalty that is. There's been some blinders. Cody Gakpo. It's squeaky bum time. Can Neuer. Oh, he goes the right way, he can't get there, and it is pretty much sudden death. And here we go, Callum Wendu. We said he was looking anxious. He'd be cold, but ah, oh, ice cold. That's what it is. Ice in his veins, the boy. And now, the 10th penalty. This from Jordan Henderson. Missed one in a shootout against Colombia, I remember. He's not doing kick-ups on the way to this one. Manuel Neuer versus Jordan Henderson. And Neuer's gone the right way. I think it's his age. He can't stretch out until he's a sudden death. But Zielinski, oh, I do not. I don't know if I can watch this, boys and girls. Zielinski, and he's sent the keeper the wrong way. It's the first penalty in a while where it's gone comfortably in. And Liverpool's sixth penalty taker about to step forward is Virgil van Dijk. He's the only player that scored for them other than Oshiman out of their five goals. Calm as you like. He's Virgil van Dijk. And again, keeper's gone the right way. But if he just stretched out his arms, he might save one of these. Oh, Mikhailo Mudrik. Oh, calm as you like as well. Sends the keeper the wrong way. We've had 13 perfect penalties so far. Mazray, I think is how he's pronounced it. That's the last time I'm going to try and say it. Anyway, he steps forward. Manuel Neuer, he's gone the right way. He gets her hands to it. Can't keep it out. Now it's big Wes. Wesley Fofana. He's just run up from the halfway line, it looks like, and he's powered it in. 15 penalties in a row have gone in. Surely, Bacetic. Surely one of them is not going to go in. It's in front of the Liverpool fans. Stefan Bacetic. And Neuer saved it. We've done it. Everyone's going mad. We're signing off from Chelsea with a win. Neuer signing off from football with a win. What an amazing game of football that was. Five all in normal time. And penalties all the way. Reese James has got that Champions League trophy in his hand. He lifts it high. The fireworks go off. We have done it. We have smashed it. What an end to our time at Chelsea I hope you can hear the Champions League music because I can hear the Champions League music we're not going to get a cartwheel but we're in the cook I mean I don't know why we're celebrating in front of the Liverpool fans that's a bit of a piss take if I'm honest but we have done it in the rain in Munich 8-7 on penalties Victor Osimhen gets the man of the match four goals in the Champions League final and you end up on the losing side. That has got to be the biggest heartbreak I've ever seen in football. Look at that. I mean, he got 89th and 90th to somehow drag the game to extra time. He then put them ahead in extra time. Only for Ibrahim Akonate 
the ex Liverpool centre back to rise at the back post with a fantastic header, which was enough to send the game to penalties. And then we done the rest from there. We everyone kept their cool. I mean, thank the Lord you don't have to go through that every week. My heart rate is pounding. Five all in. I mean, you expect five all to be the score in penalties, let alone just in normal game time. Wow. I guess all that's left to do now is to resign from Chelsea. We've come to the end of the road. We've won them that Champions League. We've won them three Premier Leagues and a Champions League in our time here. And our time has come to... I mean, whoever takes over is going to have £191 million to spend on this beast of a side that's already assembled. It's going to be heartbreaking. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop a save. Because... That is a fun team to manage and I might want to go back and manage them one day. I tell you what, there might even be a little competition. If anyone's interested in this save file, drop a comment, leave your details. If you want to take over this Chelsea side, I'll send you the database. It's all yours. It's a fun side. Like I said, you probably just need to go and get yourself a goalkeeper. But there we go. We've resigned from Chelsea. We have received and accepted your resignation. Don't even try and keep me... Get turn me up. Look. Mourinho, favourite. Ancelotti, two ex-Chelsea managers. And Guardiola. Well, well, well. That is it, boys and girls. We have finished our time at Chelsea. I'm going to apply for Man City, Inter Milan, Hertha Berlin and Marseille. And I'll keep an eye on what other jobs come available in the summer. And we'll make a decision whether we take one of them or we start a brand new save. But either way... You're going to have to join us on Tuesday and find out where we've got to. Boys and girls, I can't believe it. It's over. Thank you so much for the support for this series so far. It might continue. It might be a new one. You'll have to come back on Tuesday and find out. If you've enjoyed the series, please let us know down in the comments. If you've got any preference as to whether we go to Man City or whether we start a brand new one drop a suggestion down in the comment while you're there like the video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you on tuesday with a brand new team thank you